back everyone as most of you know the iphone 13 pro max has just came out and i haven't even got around to doing this camera comparison so let's go and compare the 13 pro max camera against the iphone 12 pro max camera now i will tell you both these cameras are so similar it's not even funny they both have the exact same camera setup on the front and the back for the most part the main difference is the 13 pro max's camera sensors are a little bit bigger but other than that they're almost the same thing a wide angle lens ultra wide sensor and telephoto lens capability on both of these phones on the back and the same sensor on the front as well for the most part now you can do 4k at 60 on the front and the back of both of them which is great and you do have the same video and photo modes for the most part but with the iphone 13 pro max we do now have this new cinematic mode which is actually really cool it's essentially portrait mode for video and i think it's awesome but you know do you need it it's totally up to you if you're doing a lot of videos like that then i would highly recommend picking up the iphone 13 pro max now the rest of this photos and everything, the 12 Pro Max photos will be on the left, the iPhone 13 Pro Max photos will be on the right, and I took all these photos in the same conditions, I tapped to focus on both of them this time, and we can just jump in and immediately, I kind of already see kind of a pretty big difference, I'm increasing my brightness right now, I do think that the iPhone 13 Pro Max did a better job at kind of I just, you know, making a brighter photo as a whole, you can kind of see that the bulb is kind of about the same. You know, it looked a little bit, I guess, different when you were zoomed out. You can see that the background, in my opinion, is more blurred out on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So it's kind of hard to tell unless you really look hard. But you can see right here, it looks blurred out on the 12 Pro Max. But when you kind of look back and forth, you can see this silver lining is kind of a little bit, you know, blurred out on the iPhone 13 Pro Max a little bit more. Kind of looking on the corner here almost the same thing. I don't really notice that big of a difference. I have actually been noticing that a lot of iPhone 13 camera photos have been a little bit more noised out, which I wasn't a fan of at all. You can see pretty much the same thing here. And if I had to zoom in this much, obviously it's, you're not going to notice that big of a difference at all. Now this next photo was pretty much the same thing as well. So all I did is just went to this post part and I just pretty much just zoomed in. And you can see that pretty much the same type of thing as well. I'm seeing such little differences that it's not even funny. And this is even less of a difference between my iPhone 12 and 13 to be honest. Now again, if you kind of look here, one thing you can see is that with the noise in the background, the iPhone 12 Pro Max this time around actually added a little bit more noise for some reason. With the iPhone 13 Pro Max, you can kind of see less noise as a whole. If you go and look down here, kind of the same thing, but I can kind of tell there's just a little bit more noise going on with the iPhone or with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So color-wise and everything, they look almost the same, but the noise thing was one thing I immediately saw. Now this time around you can see that there's a little bit of a difference with the coloring a little bit. It looks like the iPhone 12 Pro Max photo looks a little bit darker with the iPhone 13 Pro Max photo looks a bit lighter. Now I don't know exactly why this could be happening. It could be because the sun moved or something like that. Probably was that. But zooming in you can kind of see that almost the same type of thing going on. There really isn't a crazy big difference. And you can actually see with this little portion right here, the same exact spot for the most part. And it is a little bit more darkened out on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, or maybe it's actually this spot right here. So even here, a little bit more darkened up here, but very little differences. I really can't tell that big of a difference. Now this next photo, very interesting. I actually went to such horrible lighting condition. I went to the worst lighting condition I could think of, and I started taking these photos. Now the iPhone 13 Pro Max photo actually looks pretty good. If I go ahead and zoom in here and if I zoom in here, you can see pretty much that there is a little bit of a difference. The 13 Pro Max photo looks a little bit darker, which is nice, and it looks a little bit more sharper. And you can see that this little whatever this is in the background looks a little bit more, I guess, in focus, which is a good thing. I think, you know, at least it looks a little bit, I guess, less washed out. On the iPhone 12 Pro Max, it actually does look a little bit more washed out than I would like. I'm not really a huge fan of it, but you can see with both of these photos, there is a little bit of a difference, which is good to see. Now, this next photo is interesting. It may not look like it, but again, I went to some really bad lighting condition. I took the photo as I could, and I actually kind of think the 12 Pro Max did a better job with a brick here, and this is about where I focused in that. And you can see with the iPhone 12 Pro Max, I do kind of like the, you know, I guess the brightening of the colors, but very interesting. I've been kind of zooming into this little spot right here, and you can see that on both there is a little bit of a difference. So with the iPhone 12 Pro Max, you can see that the photo, they both look blurred out and everything, but it does seem like there is a lot more noise going on with the iPhone 13 Pro Max photo than the iPhone 12 Pro Max photo. 
So again, I don't think anybody's going to be zooming in this much, but if you are, you're going to be noticing a little bit of a difference here in terms of that. So if you're zooming in that much, do keep in mind that you may be getting a better kind of experience on something like a 12 Pro Max in that specific case. But you can see that the sun, there may have been a more sun coming through or something, so it's hard to tell 100% fact. Now in this photo, you can see pretty much the same thing. There isn't that big of a difference, so we're just going to skip it for the most part. Now this next photo was something that was very interesting. For some reason, I could not find out why, the iPhone 13 Pro Max just did not want to focus in on this specific spot. I, I just kept trying over and over again and I was just not able to do it. So because of that, this one is kind of a wash. I wish it wasn't because it's one of my favorite photos that I like to compare because there's a lot of different points, but I mean, it is what it is. So in terms of tap to focus, I mean, I do remember experiencing some really weird tap to focus issues on my 13 Pro Max. Now this next photo is of portrait mode on both. And one thing that I've been seeing is with the 13, I actually did a pretty good job. With these two phones, I immediately kind of saw that the 13 Pro Max looks a little bit brighter, which is cool, before even zooming in or anything. Now if I look at, at the face in and of itself, you can see a really big difference, at least I can see it. With the iPhone 13 Pro Max, just look at how much more in focus and how much brighter this red color is on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. With the iPhone 12 Pro Max, you can see it still looks good, but even on top of that, it looks like there's a little bit more blurring going on with the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and the background is more brighter on the iPhone 13 Pro Max as well. So if we go and look at like this side of both of these photos, let's see if there's a difference, and I can't really tell a big difference if I go and look on this side. I don't really see a massive difference as well, but again, you can kind of see that the background is more bright on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So definitely on portrait mode, you're definitely getting a little bit of a better experience, I would say for sure. Now this next photo was pretty much just me demonstrating both type of photos. So this is both cameras at their wide angle lenses not zooming in. Now this is both cameras zooming in completely as far as I can zoom in at. And you can see they pretty much have the same type of length that you can zoom in at, which is good. And this is it totally zoomed out. So you can see pretty much the exact same thing as well. So because they have the same type of camera setup, you're pretty much getting the same type of camera capability when it comes down to zooming in and zooming out. Now finally, we have this little tiny photo that I took at the end. And even here, I'm not really seeing a crazy big difference. I wish I was seeing a bigger difference, but I don't really see it. So when you kind of zoom in here, let, let's just go and zoom into the back portion right all the way over here. And immediately, like I said, I don't really notice a massive difference. But one thing that I do kind of see is that there is a little, there's a noise on both of these photos for sure, but you can see with the iPhone 13 Pro Max right here, it did kind of do a better job at kind of evening out some of these colors, which is always good. With the iPhone 12 Pro Max, you can see a lot more noise going on right here. I'm not a fan of all that noise, even though the 13 Pro Max had some noise in some earlier photos. I think the 12 Pro Max here, at least in some outdoor photos, has a little bit more noise going on. You can see if we look at like this little portion right here, it's pretty much the same thing too. There's not really like a massive difference right there, which is, you know, I don't mind at all. And even here, like it looks about the same too. So I will definitely say one thing about these outdoor photos, the 13 Pro Max does a way better job or a, a little bit of a better job on these outdoor photos than the iPhone 13 Pro Max, than the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So in terms of that, that covers up a majority of the camera comparison. And to be honest, I'm going to tell you, I do think that the iPhone 13 Pro Max is a slightly better camera. I don't think it's better in every single way, but there are some key areas where the iPhone 13 Pro Max definitely beats the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I'm kind of seeing in portrait mode, I'm kind of seeing on different things like that, it actually does a really good job. But on the 12 Pro Max, I'll say it's still very good, like it's a very close comparison here. I do think the 12 Pro Max is still very, very good though. There's been a few little areas where like, oh, it's like a little bit more noisy here or whatever, but it's really not that big of a deal. And unless you're really looking at it, you're really not going to notice that big of a difference anyways. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up here. If you guys have any other their questions or anything let me know in the comment section as well hit the like button that me so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then